Carbonara, one of the best Italian recipes you will ever make. And if you do it the authentic way, you will be left with luscious, creamy pasta coated with salty flavors from pancetta and parmesan with the richness of egg yolks. This is epic. And the best part of this recipe is that it only takes four ingredients. We've got egg yolks, we've got spaghetti, we've got pancetta, and we've got parmesan. And the first thing we need to do to get this started is plunge our spaghetti into a big pot of boiling salted water. And if you're gonna make carbonara, you gotta go all in. So a big packet of spaghetti, straight in there. I love those moments. And then you just wanna poke it down. Oh, if you get all the equipment out of the way. Just poke it down so it gets nicely coated in all that salted water. And the trick with your pasta is to just keep it moving in there so it doesn't stick to the bottom. It gets nicely coated in the water. So take your time with it. Now, while the pasta is cooking off, we're gonna get the pan on nice and hot. And straight in here, we're going to fry off some pancetta. So a little drop of olive oil, about a teaspoon to a tablespoon's amount of olive oil. Remember with the pancetta, when you add this to the pan, there's quite a lot of fat that goes in here. It's a cured, beautiful, salty meat. And once it starts cooking off, it's gonna exude a little fat, so you don't need that much oil. Straight into the pan with the pancetta. And you're gonna bring that to temperature. You're looking for it to be nice and golden brown, and then it is good to go. So just to recap, we've got pasta boiling up, we've got pancetta sizzling away, and while it's sizzling away, we're gonna talk about the other two ingredients that take this dish to beautiful carbonara heaven. We've got some egg yolks, I've separated the egg yolks out from the egg whites, and I'm gonna whisk through about half the Parmesan cheese that's required for the recipe. Now really when it comes to making a good carbonara, it's all about the look and the feel. I'm gonna take some of that pasta water to loosen it out and I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese as I need it. But I'm gonna start off with a little bit of Parmesan and these four egg yolks just to whisk up. Now most people when they're making their carbonara will slip the egg yolks into the cooked pasta. But my theory on this by doing it in a bowl is that you will prevent yourself from scrambled eggs. So this is my little tip on making sure that you get perfect creamy carbonara. Just check on our pancetta, which is looking pretty good. And let's give our pasta just a nice little swirl through just so that it's nice and evenly cooking. And the brilliance of this dish is that by the time you have that pasta cooked through, you have your pancetta cooked off, and essentially the base of your carbonara sauce is good to go. This is exactly where you want your pancetta to be. You've kind of got a nice bit of golden color, but it's really sizzling and crispy. And at this point, I'm gonna turn off the heat we're gonna transfer it out onto a plate lined with some kitchen paper, and you wanna leave any of that excess oil in there. It has done its business at this point, and you'll just be left with this lovely crispy pancetta running through a really rich, creamy carbonara sauce. Okay, pancetta is nice and cooked off. At this point, our pasta should nearly be there, so just give it a last little swirl, and then it's time to drain. So right at this point, I'm gonna take out a little bit of that starchy water that the pasta is cooking in. And this is gonna to help to form that gorgeous, creamy carbonara sauce. So about three ladles will be more than enough. Okay, it's time to drain. Once you have your pasta drained off, get it straight into those egg yolks. And you wanna get straight in there with your tongs and get stirring. And a good little tip at this point to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese as you're going and as you need it. That will really help to bring this sauce together. So now it's time to add that pancetta straight in there. Give it a little seasoning of black pepper. You don't have to do this, but I do think it adds that nice little kind of spicy bite just to the edge of your carbonara. And then give it a last little mix through. And by all means, if you need more of that water, stick it in there. I think this does need just a little touch. Last little bit of Parmesan cheese just over the top. And this will finally bring together this gorgeous carbonara. I'm gonna tumble it out onto a plate. Take a nice twist of that pasta. Quite a generous twist of that pasta. Get it on the plate, and that is all you want for absolute pasta perfection. Finish it off with a tiny little touch of Parmesan cheese, and that is a four ingredient pasta to be absolutely proud of. Grab up some of that creaminess, get a little bit of the pancetta in there, and while it's still nice and warm, dive in. Mmm, that is just creamy, silky, smooth. It's got that saltiness wrapped around it because of the pancetta being added in there. It has to be one of the easiest pasta dishes you will ever learn how to make, and it's all about that silky sauce wrapped around the pasta. 
If you want the recipe, not that you'll need it after watching this, you can get it in the box below over on my website. Hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment in the box below, and if you're Italian, please say something nice, because you never do. So I hope you've liked my version of this carbonara sauce, and until then, my friends, see you soon. And straight in here, we're going to fry off some pancetta. So a little drop of olive oil. That's not on. <laughs>